So after I had this uh, near-death experience when I was 19 years old, I wrote a list of things that I felt like I had to do before I died. And there was this one place that I wanted to go to, which is this volcano called Stromboli. So with the guys that I was traveling with, we decided that the best way for us to really experience this volcano would be to take a five-star Italian chef to the top of the volcano to cook us dinner. And we found this guy who owned a restaurant with his brother, and he's all dressed up in this chef's outfit. And when we pitch this idea to him, he thinks it's a brilliant idea and he wants to do it. And we all take the ferry across to Stromboli. And the chef has got his assistant with him and a backpack with a whole lot of things that he needs for cooking. And we were trying to get to the top of the volcano just as the sun was setting so that um, we could actually prepare the, the meal in the perfect situation where the sun's setting, the volcano's blowing up, and we're sitting there, you know, having dinner. As we come up to the top of the volcano, just as we come up, we look over the top of the, of the crater and we look over the other side and the most beautiful sunset you've ever seen. And we're looking down at the volcano, which is all bubbling red lava and it's popping and sparking away. So the chef says, now I gotta go to work. He digs a hole in the volcano and he keeps digging and digging and digging. The further he goes down, the hotter it gets. So he has no stove, he uses the heat of the volcano to cook. Meanwhile, we set the table on top of a rock and put the white tablecloth over. We have all the silver service, beautiful wine glasses, we had some perfect Italian wine, of course. I mean, what are you gonna do when you're in Italy? And as the meal comes towards the table, I decide it's appropriate now to have a toast. And just as we clink our glasses, the volcano decides to erupt right on cue. Well, to cap the whole night off, we had brought water skis to the top of the volcano. It turns out that you can ski the old volcanic rock, which is almost like sand. It's so, the, 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 the rocks are so fine. We are in dinner suits with helmets on and we slide 3,000 feet from the top of the crater to the sea. So obviously it's one of those moments that you just never, never forget.